It is far. It is gone. I think it's safe to say there's nobody in baseball like Aaron Judge. Now, that's not to say that he's the best player in baseball, but there's definitely nobody like him. I mean, we're talking about a six foot seven inch behemoth of a human being who weighs over 280 pounds of seemingly pure muscle, doesn't look like he's the least bit out of shape. If he were an NFL tight end, Judge would dwarf Rob Gronkowski and just about every other legendary figure who played that position. And then there's the way the ball absolutely explodes off his bat. I mean, good Lord. Not to mention his propensity for hitting the most monstrous of home runs too. Judge's 2022 season is arguably among the best individual seasons a player has ever had in baseball history. That season put him in the record books and helped him earn a nine-year, $360 million contract, which was briefly the largest contract ever signed by an MLB free agent. However, beneath the surface of Judge's impressive 6'7", 280-pound frame is a secret that most folks actually haven't realized yet. And unfortunately for the Yankees, that scary truth about Judge that nobody's noticing isn't good news for them. But we'll get to that. First, it only seems fair to give Judge the credit he deserves because he has had an incredible career thus far. And as we mentioned, there is nobody in baseball quite like him. So he is a player worth celebrating. So let's get to that right from the start. We should have known that Judge was going to be something special. Even as a prospect, he allowed Yankees fans to dream. He spent parts of three seasons crushing it in the minors before the Yankees called him up in August 2016. I mean, can you imagine being some fringy double-A pitcher watching someone of Judge's unique size stepping into the batter's box? We know that even in his t-ball days, Judge was so big that other kids would just turn around and cower in fear when he came up to bat. So he surely made some minor league pitchers weak in the knees back in the day. For all we know, he might've done the same to a few MLB pitchers over the years too. And that's sometimes the case when a player hits a home run in his first career at bat, which Judge did. In fact, his teammate, Tyler Austin, homered in his first MLB at bat right before Judge. It was the first time in baseball history, actually, that two players hit back-to-back -back home runs in their first career at bats. Judge followed up the home run in his first career at bat by hitting another homer in his second game in the big leagues. Only one other Yankee, by the way, had done that previously. Needless to say, Judge made a pretty good first impression after getting to the big leagues, setting the stage for a great career ahead of him. After getting a taste of the big leagues in 2016, Judge's true rookie season came in 2017. That year, he put together one of the all-time great rookie campaigns. Despite just hitting 179 in limited action in 2016, Judge batted 284 in 2017, which becomes even more impressive when you factor in his 24 doubles, 114 RBIs, and oh, by the way, 52 home runs. Yeah. And not included in those 52 home runs are all the long balls he hit while winning the home run derby, which was a fitting honor for Judge, who also led the American League in home runs that season. In fact, the only player with more homers in 2017 was his future teammate, Giancarlo Stanton, who was still floundering with the Marlins at the time. <laughs> well, oh my God. Okay. Wait a minute, if it hits the roof, it doesn't count. There was a point in the middle of June when Judge led the American League in all three triple crown categories. In a sense, his career took off faster than one of his home run balls that leaves the bat at nearly 120 miles per hour and ends up in the upper deck. Needless to say, Judge was the unanimous rookie of the year in the American League. He was also runner up for the MVP honors too. Those 52 long balls put him in an exclusive company in Yankees history. He joined a list that includes Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, and Mickey Mantle as the only Yankees to hit at least 40 home runs in a season before turning 25. Swings here, hits a high, towering fly ball to left field. Joyce looks up, so can you. This one is gone. Now, if anybody thought that Judge might be a flash in the pan, they were terribly mistaken. He continued to mash home runs and drive in runs over the years to come. After an OPS of 1,049 during his rookie season, Judge posted an OPS of 900 in three of the next four seasons. That stretch culminated in Judge finishing fourth in the MVP voting in 2021. He also showed that he was more than just a hitter, too. Judge's play in right field impressed everyone who saw him. For someone 6'7 and nearly 300 pounds, Judge has a pretty impressive amount of range in the outfield, not to mention his propensity for making spectacular catches, too. The Yankees even deemed him good enough defensively to man center field. 
And when he made his debut there in early 2018, he became both the tallest and heaviest player in MLB history to play center field. And while he's not exactly Willie Mays, his defense has never been a serious question or a weak part of his game. Of course, everything Judge did during his first handful of seasons in the big leagues was just a prelude for what would come in 2022. And as we said at the top, Judge's 2022 campaign was one of the greatest individual seasons by any player ever. Judge was completely locked in and performing on another level. I mean, he was a force of nature in the batter's box. For large stretches of that season, he could do no wrong. And most fans remember 2022 for the 62 home runs that Judge hit. In doing so, he set the American League record for most home runs in a season, breaking the previous record of 61 by fellow Yankee Roger Maris. And one could also argue that Judge's 62 home runs are the most ever hit by a player without the help of PEDs, making him the MLB's true single season home run king. But those 62 home runs, they were just a headline. They weren't the whole story. In 2022, Judge hit 311, a new career high for him, and the first time he eclipsed the 300 mark, proving once and for all that he's more than just a power hitter. And that 311 average, by the way, was just five points behind Luis Arise. That was all that separated Judge from winning the Triple Crown. And that's because Judge finished the 2022 season as the MLB leader in home runs, RBIs, extra base hits, and runs scored. He even set a new career high with 16 stolen bases. Okay, so technically Judge tied with Pete Alonso, the Mets for the most RBIs in 2022, but both the New York based sluggers finished the year with exactly 131 RBIs. In any event, that was the first time any player was at least tied for the MLB lead in home runs, extra base hits, and runs since Mickey Mantle did it in 1956. Mickey Mantle's 1956 season was so brilliant and historic, by the way, that he eventually wrote a book about it. Mike and Mantle, and there it goes, over the right field fence across Bedford Avenue. Now, one could argue that Mantle's 1956 season is also the best individual season by any Yankee ever. Granted, Judge couldn't quite match Mantle's 353 batting average, but he did beat Mantle's 1956 tally in home runs, doubles, and RBIs. And just like Mantle in 1956, Judge took home MVP honors for the first time in 2022. In fact, he was just two votes shy of being a unanimous MVP. But alas, when Judge's historic 2022 season ended, the troubles began. At the end of the season, Judge became a free agent for the first time in his career. This began an off-season of uncertainty for the Yankees and their fans. The Yankees knew from the outset that they couldn't afford to let Judge sign elsewhere. He was too valuable to the franchise to lose. And despite the Padres and Giants making some strong offers, the Yankees convinced Judge to stay in the Bronx with a nine-year, $360 million contract paying him $40 million per season. And for a player coming off a historically great season, a record-setting contract would seem to make sense, right? But the scary truth that the Yankees and their fans may not want to admit is that $360 million is paying Judge for the player he used to be, not the player he's going to be for the duration of his contract. Three in the morning, I was back in California. I was you know, on the phone with Hal. Uh, he shot me a message earlier about... How do we know that? One word, injuries. Judge has already suffered more than his fair share of injuries in his career. And it's almost impossible to imagine that changing now that he's on the wrong side of 30. Ironically, it's his six foot seven inch, 280 pound frame that has made him such a special player who stands out from the crowd. But putting a body that big and strong through the rigors of a 162 game baseball season and everything else that goes into being a pro athlete is simply asking too much over the long term. Judge's body has repeatedly broken down and been vulnerable to injuries. You can't deny it. And unfortunately, the worst is likely yet to come. The 2022 season was amazing and something that nobody can ever take away from Judge, but the truth is that he's never gonna come close to matching it. Even worse, Judge will never come close to earning his massive salary either. I mean, let's take a look back at the injuries that Judge has already had to endure. A month after his first call up to the big leagues, Judge suffered an oblique strain that ended his 2016 season early. After a sensational rookie season, Judge required surgery for a nagging injury that contributed to him hitting just 228 after the All-Star break. He batted 329 during the first half of the season. The following season, Judge fractured his wrist after getting plunked by a fastball, and his recovery took nearly two months, far longer than initially expected. 
In 2019, he was sidelined again during spring training by another oblique strain that kept him out for nearly the first three months of the season. During spring training 2020, Judge was still being bothered by a stress fracture in his ribs he suffered the previous September, but thanks to the pandemic, that injury didn't actually cause him to miss any game time. However, once the shortened season got underway, Judge suffered multiple strains to the same calf muscle, limiting him to just 28 games in the 60-game season. After his sensational rookie season, Judge played in just 69% of the Yankees' games in 2018, 63% in 2019, and 46% in 2020. Now, in fairness, Judge was healthy throughout his historic 2022 campaign, but he followed that up with multiple stints on the IL in 2023. And in that year, those injuries limited him to just 106 games, which is the second fewest games he's played since his rookie year, excluding the shortened 2020 season. Now, what do you think happened when Judge showed up to spring training in 2024? That's right, he had a ligament tear in his big toe, which he suffered when he crashed into the wall at Dodger Stadium the previous June. A toe injury, by the way, which will need, quote, constant maintenance for the rest of his career. Now, what exactly constant maintenance means is anybody's guess, but it certainly doesn't sound good. What we do know is that you have a player with a unique body type who's been on the IL nearly every season and has a long-term injury he'll have to manage for the rest of his career. And there's almost no player in baseball history with Judge's body type to tell us how a player like him might age. And a history of constant injuries does not sound like a good omen for his future, does it? Look. The fifth. And yanking the ball to deep left field. Aaron Judge hits his 30 second. This doesn't mean the end of Judge's career is on the horizon. When he was healthy in 2023, he produced, mashing 37 homers and posting an OPS of 1,019. He's also a great leader in the clubhouse and is fully deserving of the title of Yankees captain. However, everything points to Judge continuing to deal with injuries for the rest of his career. With Judge, his trigger for his swing is this move right here. Yep. It's this right here, mm -hmm. which is very risky. At a certain point, those injuries won't just keep him off the field, they will also start to hinder his performance when he's healthy enough to play. And I'm sorry to say it, but the truth is the judge's downturn has already started. In fact, it started even before he signed his nine-year $360 million contract. He'll never be able to measure up to the player he's been in the past. And it might be sooner rather than later that it becomes obvious to everyone that he will never be the same again. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.